Okay, so this is a video to help with your distillation lab. So let's see here. What, um, let me get a little closer. We have a hot plate, uh, and it's not hot, obviously, I'm touching it. And in this flask, I have put some cherry Coke. And you'll see that there's a stopper on it. And we have a thermometer. And if we were to read that thermometer, have to get down, get over there. We're, you know, room temperature, just about 21 degrees Celsius. I have this little guy uh, in here. It's got a hole in it. And um, this is the stopcock. It's open because it's in line. And that is to collect vapor that comes out of here. It's going to go through this tube um, and into, here, let me unhook this real quick, into there. Um, and then we'll put that one there and get it nice and sealed. This is called a condenser. If we, there, let me take that off again. If we look down in there, the chamber literally comes down and then it's, it's a spiral that empties out this tube. Here I have a beaker to catch um, what's called the distillate. The distillate will be in the beaker. Now, what's all this tubing? Well, here is my faucet and I'm currently going to turn on the cold water. So you can't really see see it, but maybe you can if I can get some motion of some bubbles or something. Yeah, so I've turned on the water. You can see it's starting to move. So it comes out of the faucet, goes here. Now it's not in this spiral tube, it's around it. So the spiral tube goes through the glass and that goes all the way up to here, right? But around it is surrounded by water. And I'm putting in the cold water it's going in here, it's filling that glass chamber all the way up to here, and it's coming out here, this tube. And this tube, you can see the water, is running into the sink, right? So I'm doing that to keep this chilled. We don't want this hot, to keep it nice and chilled. So what we're doing here is we're separating this mixture and we're going to separate it based on, we know it is a mixture of solutions, and we're going to separate it based on the boiling point of solutions. Now we know water boils at 100 degrees, but some things in cherry coke will boil at a lower temperature and boil or vaporize at a lower temperature, and that will be the first thing out of the condenser and then when we get to 100 degrees, that vapor will be water. And then if we go further above 100, so it will stay at 100 while all the water is boiling away. And if there is still liquid in there that starts to boil higher than 100, that will be a third distillate. So we can separate a solution based on boiling point. So I'm going to turn the hot plate on, so the light go on, turn the hot plate on. I get the cold water running and um, cold water running. And this is Mountain Dew, that was yesterday. I'm gonna change that to Cherry Coke and I will come back as soon as this heats up and we see something. So, stand by for part two.